Hi, I'm George, TSD's Open Content Product Manager. In this short demo, I'm going to compare the contributor interfaces in WebTop and Open Content. Now, when we're talking about the contributor interface, what, what we really mean is the interface for importing and modifying documents. So here I am in WebTop, and I'm inside a, a policy folder here, just as an example. And um, I have some options here for getting documents into this folder. Um, I have this new option, which will let me create a document either uh, from a template or as a blank document. Um, but I'm going to go more into this import screen, which allows me to create a document, um, import it from my desktop. So this is the UCF component and then sort of the native uh, browser extension that appears here. Um, I can use this add files to add documents, um, or if I know where I am uh, or where my document is, I can just grab it and drag it in here and um, have the document in there. I'm just going to do one doc for now and we'll do multiple documents uh, after. So once I do that, it's a little bit unintuitive here. I have to know that I want to click next here. Um, it does give you the option to click finish. Uh, which will create the document with all you know base defaults, which most clients don't want. They uh, really want this document to be indexed with the correct properties and the correct type. So I'm going to go ahead and click next here. Um, and then the user, you know, by default, um, this is something we typically configure, but by default, I see all of the available types um, and the user just had, has to know to pick the correct one uh, rather than uh, the system smartly selecting for them. Um, I did set up some uh, attributes to appear here um, just as examples. Um, you know, I have to key in the uh, data here. Um, so I'll just say 2018. And you can, of course, configure uh, what properties appear in the order and all that kind of good stuff in WebTop. So I'll go ahead and finish. And here's my document that I uploaded. So one thing with WebTop is there's, there's no good way to preview this document inside the browser. Um, I can double click the document, which will again, again invoke the UCF component to download the document and open it in its native viewer, uh, in this case, which is Acrobat. So let's take a look here about if we wanted to import multiple documents. So I'll just run my import operation again. And I'm going to come back to the, my window here and grab a couple documents and drag them in. So the interface is largely the same, but it splits out the documents onto their own page. So here I'm working on the annual report first, and it's, it's really the same uh, sort of setup here. I go through and set up my attributes. And then I have the option down here to just finish, which will uh, apply these properties to all the documents and just finish it straight through. Or I can use the next um, and it will bring me to my next document and uh, just kind of pre-populate what was selected before. Um, but, uh, and if I, you know, in this case, I notice this G should be uppercase. Um, I can change that and I can go back to the previous document and make that change as well. Uh, but in any case, if I have more documents, I can just keep paging through them with this previous and next. And once I'm finished, go ahead and click the finish. So now I have the uh, two documents in here and uh, I can now start working with them. So let's say I want to make an edit to one of these documents. I'll just go ahead and choose this uh, welcome template document. So I can right click and if I have the right permissions, I can choose this edit action. So this is going to check out the document and again, use the UCF uh, transfer component to open it up and document up in its native editor. And I'll just go ahead and um, make a change here. Go ahead and do that save my changes. And then now I can see this key icon that the document is checked out um, and right click. And um, I have the option here to check in or cancel my checkout, uh, but I'll go ahead and check in. And again, uh, so it's going to give me the option to uh, choose the type of version. This is 
something that some clients want us to tweak where they don't want to give people the ability to choose same version. Many clients choose that uh, major versions are only created through a workflow. So sometimes we do a little bit of work to narrow this down here. But in, if I don't want to change any properties, um, I can go ahead and just click this OK, which will pull the document from my local uh, back through the UCF component and then check in the next version. So now I'm going to switch over to a folder in Open Content Management Suite and I'm going to perform uh, the same steps uh, that we did over in WebTop. Um, so we have an action in the folder here called Add Documents, which will bring up this interface where we have a number of configurable options. Many clients will turn these on and off depending on uh, what services they use. Um, but I can, I'll just go ahead and do the same thing here. I can just grab this policy contract and drop it into the drop zone, which will add it to the list. I can also use the standard select documents, but I can also uh, pull up an interface where I can scan directly in. I don't have a scanner set up here, but um, if I did, I could you know, feed paper into it, scan it directly into this interface. Um, we can also create documents from templates, uh, just like in similar to WebTop. Um, but we can also import documents from Box as well as Gmail as well. So I'm going to do the same scenario that I did in WebTop where I'm just going to have the one document and go ahead and click the next button here. So the first thing that we're going to see is that while indexing the document, I can actually see the document as, as well as the metadata as I'm indexing it, which can really make it very helpful to make sure I'm setting the right properties. The other thing you can notice here is that some of the properties were uh, defaulted because it knows that the folder is uh, has policy number year type holder on it, those properties can automatically be set on the document. Um, and additionally, the configuration smartly chooses the right document type, so the user doesn't even have to uh, know to pick from any list of uh, documents it, it, or document types. It just smartly knows that since I'm in a policy folder, uh, we're adding underwriting documents here. So I'm going to go ahead and give this uh, document a tag category here. I'll just tag it as contracts and I'll go ahead and finish. So this is going to add the document, uh, which which adds it to the folder. Um, and I can see it in here in its category list. Um, so contrary to WebTop, we do have a web preview within OCMS. So I can just click this link and then quickly see the document in the browser without needing to download it locally and uh, open it up in Adobe. So now let's take a look at the scenario of uh, multiple documents. So we'll head back to our add documents. And in this case, we're going to do something a little different. I want to grab this quote for public DNO message file. Um, now, WebTop will import this file perfectly fine. But what it won't do that, that we do here is we process the MSG file and pull off the attachments as separate documents. So now I'm going to be able to index these documents just like uh, any other document that I would have dragged in here. Uh, the other thing I'm going to do, I'm just going to create this document from a template because we have the, uh, it's the same welcome template uh, uh, Word document, but just I'll just go ahead and do it that way and click next. So when importing multiple documents, I kind of get this uh, breadcrumb trail of the documents. And I have the option here to uh, set properties in bulk across all documents. So for this, I'm just going to say I want to maybe I want to say that the status is in review for all of them. And I'm going to leave the tags blank because I want to set that on a per document basis. So similar to WebTop, we have the option uh, to uh, step through the documents and um, see my uh, document along with the properties. Um, so I'm just going to tag this as correspondence. And similar to WebTop, we have the previous and next. But a little bit different is that I can kind of uh, go through here and um, jump around if I, if I wanted to. Um, but now I'm looking at this annual report as an attachment to the email and I can categorize it and set properties just like any other document, similar to this other document, which was a, uh, uh, another attachment to the email. So I'll just go ahead and finish setting these and finish an upload, and now all these documents are going to be put into the folder.
So now I can just come back over here and if I look at the view all documents, I'll see all the documents in the folder. So let's go ahead and uh, take a look at the um, process around editing a document. So I'll just pull up this same new policy welcome template that we were working with uh, before. We have a couple of options here. We can do a normal checkout, um, which will uh, pull the document down to the user's local machine. And then the user can then open it in the native editor. So we'll go ahead and just open up Word. And uh, we'll just do something very similar that we did for WebTop. Go ahead and save that. Um, and then the options up here are going to change. I have the option to cancel my checkout, but I also have a check-in option. So I'll go ahead and use that. Um, and then we can browse to the file or we can um, find the, uh, the file here and just go ahead and drag it in. Uh, so we do have configurations in um, our admin to allow uh, minor, major, or same. Um, in this example, I took out the option uh, for same, um, but we can also remove the ability to major version very easily um, so that uh, for clients that don't want their users to major version documents, uh, we can configure that very easily. So I can enter some comments or I can just submit and then it's going to uh, upload the document to Documentum, and then the renditioning engine uh, for the PDF uh, document works in a queue-based mechanism, uh, so it will pick up that document at some point and rendition it to uh, PDF. So if we go ahead and uh, refresh this document here, we can take a look at the PDF. And there we go with the update to edit in open content. One other thing I wanted to show here is that we do have integrations with some of the more advanced online tools for editing. So another option, instead of the traditional checkout, download, edit, and check in with an upload, uh, we do have the option to edit the document directly in the browser via um, either Office Online or Google Docs. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and do that, and I will just use this option to edit online. So it's going to ask me if I want to do that, and I'm going to say yes. So this is going to send the document to OneDrive in this case. I have it configured for Word Online um, and pull up the Word Online interface. So I haven't left my browser. This is just Word uh, running within the browser. Um, and I'll just add some text here. You can see here it's working to automatically save my changes in OneDrive. And once that's done, once it says it's saved to OneDrive, I can just go ahead and close this tab and jump back to open content. Um, and then now I have an option here to check in from online. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. It's going to say, am I sure? Um, and it's going to automatically pull it from OneDrive back into Documentum. So there it is. And now I'll have a new version. And there we go, and Documentum has rendered it to PDF, so I can preview it in the browser. Well, that's it for this demo. Thanks for watching. For more information, check out our website and blog at tsgrp.com.